somewhere October 2015, mm -hmm. the controller organized a meeting in which the controller then herself, Madame Grace Azra, sat in that meeting. Her deputy, Mr. Wisdom, in charge of payroll, also sat in that meeting. And that was when they brought to us the proponents of the e-switch system, I mean the contractors, and they explained everything about the e-switch system. That the e-switch system is more or less like an ATM card, that if you are enrolled on it, even if you bank with a rural bank in a village somewhere in Fanchinoko, and then you come to Accra, and you move into any Ghana commercial bank, stand chart, any ATM, you may be able to have access to your money. Good. And so what they want to do is that the e-switch also take fingerprint. So the controller actually wanted to link uh, people's salaries to the e-switch so that they will make sure that uh, issues of goods and other things are taken off. That was one meeting. And the controller told us that they would like to do it on a pilot basis. But before they would do it on that pilot basis, after that initial meeting, they are going to engage us in a series of meetings and in consultations for us to know how best to implement this issue system. Because there on, we made it known to them that if there's any cost at all in the issue system, it should not be borne by the employee. If it is government who wants to clean the public payroll, government should take the total cost and all that. But then, controller made us aware that no, it is a system that we want to use to clean public payroll. And this meeting is to just to inform you of government intentions. And at the appropriate time, we are going to hold a whole lot of public fora, hold a, lot of, a whole lot of consultations with you before finally, if the agreement and the consensus is built, we bring, it, we bring about this issue system. From October last year to down in 2016, we never heard anything. We only woke up last two weeks to see a publication by the controller in the mass media, not even directed to the agencies and departments or to the unions, that if by the end of 31st May 2016, anybody who have not registered for the e-switch is not going to be paid. And it will not only end there. Your name will also be expunged from the public payroll. So we said, ah, how? We cannot just agree with this. We cannot simply agree with this because last year when the issue of e-switch broke, there were some teachers that voluntarily went out to register for the e-switch. And as I speak to you, even the few teachers that register for the e-switch are unable to use the card because the ATM machines are not accepting the e-switch card. The vending machines are not accepting the e-switch card. In the whole of the ministries, there's only one vending machine at Closac and it is not working. Barclays Bank have issued a statement from their headquarters in UK that for Barclays Bank, they will not accept e-switch. And we have public workers that take their salary through Barclays Bank. And then you just wake up one day without addressing any challenge and come and say that whether you have the card, you don't have the card by the end of the month of May. If you, have, you don't have the card and it has not been linked to your account, you are not going to be paid. And that 10% of your salary will be put on the card. And 90% will be put into your normal account. Then that also brings another question. If you are going to put 10% of my money on the card and 90% on my normal account, then why, you, wh wh why should you withhold the entire money and also expunge my name from the public payroll? What we all sought to do is to reach the public payroll system of ghost names, of which currently is being done. There's something we call validation in the system. Every month, me, my headmaster, and my accountant, they validate me and make sure that I have come to work within the minimum stipulated time before I am passed to be paid. When you go to the busy school... Okay, so you are talking about Angel Carbon, Vice yeah, President that's Margaret. That's why I have validation today. Uh, I want to be them. Okay. All right. I want to be them. Angel, good morning. How are you? Yeah, good morning. I'm sure you're doing great. Yes. How well has this issue of the East switch been resolved between teachers and the accountant general? Well, uh, the directive uh, for the use of the East switch is not only to teachers, but rather to all public service workers. And the position of the forum made up of the 12 unions mm -hmm. is that the e-switch is a, an ATM card, and that you cannot compel one worker or the other to go on the ATM card. Mm -hmm. The introduction of e-switch should be an optional issue. Let the worker decide 
which ATM card he or she will want to be on. But to compel all workers to use one single card is to push us back into a command economy, which will not augur well for progress and development. Well, but probably before we proceed, uh, in compelling all workers to be on board eSwitch, what were the reasons that were adduced for that? Well, the only reason they gave was that it will help clean the public payroll, and we think that that is a red herring. I don't see how the implementation of an ATM card helps clean public payroll of ghost names. They are just using a need, a real need, as an excuse or an alibi to introduce an ATM card, and that is unacceptable. In this case, what is the real need? The real need is the fact that we have ghost names on the public payroll. Now, you don't just use that reality as an excuse to introduce an economic object. So clearly, speaking from the angle of teachers, Nagra to be specific, you are not in line with this introduction of compelling we you guys. We do not. Let it be optional. Introduce the system, uh, the, the card into the system. Let people see and, and, and understand that, oh, if I opt for this card, it will be beneficial so that the people will opt for it. If somebody also wants to opt for a, a, a Barclays Visa card, he opt for Barclays Visa card. If we want to drive this economy into a cashless economy, we will have to do it based on economic needs and understanding, not the application of compelling orders that pushes people to take decisions that they are not attuned to. But government might have probably sat down to just think through and see that probably the e-switch is the best of option, especially when we are all in times of supporting the deletion of goods names from our payrolls. The, the, that's why I said from the beginning, the introduction of an ATM card does not solve the problem of uh, uh, ghost names. The introduction of an ATM card solves the problem of a, of, of a cashless society. Way forward. Way forward is the drive towards a cashless society is a positive one. All Ghanaians must embrace it. But don't compel people to choose one card as if that is the national card. Let people opt for whichever card they want to choose. And then controller and accountant general should stop forthwith using threat of seizure of people's salary to enhance people's economic and, and business agendas. Controller should stop that. Well, Linda, thank you. But before you go, probably a bit of refreshment. Uh, matters with government, with Labor Commission, has most of them been resolved relating to Nagrat? Well, we still have hanging the issues of the arrears, which government has indicated that it is going to start paying next month. And you know, government will promise one thing, and the other thing is whether it is a reality. But as of now, it remains a promise and a commitment. It has not actualized itself in cash in the bank. We are, next month is just a few weeks away. We hope and pray government keeps to its promise. I don't want to believe that you think that it is just a normal talk, but government will leave oh. to. <laughs> well, you that can't have proverbs that uh, uh, teaches us that <laughs> when you have met a problem before, you are cautious <laughs> about promises in the future. Okay, so I just hope and pray. So it's a Nubi Penti and as uh -huh. I see, Angel. That is it. Is it know, that, so that's it, why I'm, I'm talking cautiously. Is, is it that on matters of trust relating to government promises, Nagra, to be specific, has challenges going by that their word? Yeah, yeah that, that, you see, this is why your proverb is very, very appropriate. We have had too many failed promises as far as Nagra and even workers are concerned. Now there is another agreement in the pipeline. And I said June is two weeks away. We hope and pray, Nana uh, Kwabinansante, you will not come and interview me about any strategy. <laughs> Angel Kabonu, most grateful talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I me, eh, I have fun, fun. <laughs> there are two ways. Now, Ghana, they could see and go see what they are and call their name. Now, can you bad say, I buy and say, I say, I say, I say, I say, uh, account controller and accountant general, I'm not going to buy and put controller and accountant general. I'm not going to say, you switch, no. 
a lot of text messages about um, we all registered our national service with Eastwich, Rab T, and Adewe Abba. And this one says, uh, please, Eastwich is terrible. We are unable to do it. Oh my, good morning. Mm, please, the government should it. leave teachers because we are being validated every month before we are paid. Isaac And this one says that, um, oh, the video could be in that time. Happy birthday, Koma, Doctor Dakupoku. Okay. No, we are Doctor Dakupoku. Ni a doctor. the Mister Dakupoku. Senior. Now, no, no, I want to health insurance monitoring manager. Yeah, well, Ashanti Regency. Happy birthday to you, too. Oh, uh, Moya yeah, Twins, well. fantastic. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Okay, um, Gizo. When you're more here, you're going to be here. 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 Gizo, Gizo, I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Yeah, Gizo. Uh, Okay, Benefit of the doubt.
Okay, one of the lecturers, Gastiman, was a Takrade Polytechnic. Because he said, tell Nanaya, it's bad. This is never done anywhere. We are no longer in military rule. That's not the solution to clear ghost names. Anna, on us today. We are back. Happy okay. birthday, Nkoma, mm. uh, Richmond, or Dame mm. Asamo, Assistant Claims Officer, NHIS, the BNN District Office. Okay. Okay, Wale Wale, Wale Kado, so the uh, can see. Happy Mother's Day, come on, Wale Samani. And they would eat it in a nasty. No, do me, or do me till I'm ready. 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 Or do me till I'm ready.